Hi everyone, I am Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you the easiest way to prepare a Windows 11 ISO file so that you can use this ISO file to install Windows 11 as a virtual machine in VirtualBox and also this ISO file will work to install Windows 11 as a virtual machine in VMware Workstation Player. But in this video, I'm going to be doing the demonstration on VirtualBox only. The reason we need to do this is that at the time of this video, VirtualBox and VMware Workstation Player do not have the ability to present TPM nor do they have the ability to present Secure Boot to their virtual machines. So to create the special ISO, we need to download a utility from GitHub called Media Creation Tool and this is from Aveo on GitHub and I'm gonna show you step by step how to do this. The good thing about this utility is that it is completely automated. So you don't have to edit the registry. You don't have to open an ISO and put another ISO or setup file in it or anything like this. So let's start with the first step, which is downloading this utility from GitHub. So let's open the web browser and let's go to github.com slash Aveo. And on this github.com page, you see here the media creation tool.bat. Click on it. And here, click on the drop down arrow next to code. And then click on download zip. So the media creation tool zip file will be downloaded. So now that the file is downloaded, let's close the browser and let's go to the downloads folder or to the folder where you downloaded the file. And here it is, media creation tool bad.main. And this is like a zip file. So right click on it and select extract all. And let's extract it. So click on extract and they will be extracted, the files. So now after the file is being extracted, I want to test it to see if it is safe. So I have McAfee here on my PC. So I'm going to right click on it and then click on scan. And you notice that there are no viruses in the file. So now go to the folder, to the extracted folder here, double click on it to open it and double click to open it until you arrive to this folder here. And you see you have the media creation tool batch file. Simply double click on it. And if you receive this message, click on more info and then click on run anyway. Windows prompts you for this because this is a batch file and it is not signed. So let me minimize Explorer. And when you run the batch file, you have these options in front of you. So here we are going to select Windows 11. So this is selected by default. So click on Windows 11 here, which is 11. And you have many options. The option that is of interest to us here is to make an ISO file. So I'm going to click on make ISO file. And click yes if prompted. And you notice the program starts. It will download now the media creation tool from Microsoft site. As you see, it is downloading from Microsoft.com. So it is legitimate. And this is here also from Microsoft.com. And this is a media creation tool. So it gets downloaded. And here everything is automated. As you see, I didn't click on anything. And now what it is doing is that it is creating a Windows.iso file in your documents folder. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when this operation is almost finished. So now the downloading is almost finished. I'm going to open the documents folder so that you can see how the windows.iso file will be created automatically here. Let me also open the batch file so that you can see what it is doing. And this should close automatically now. Give it a second and here it is closed. And here's the windows 11 ISO file ready to be used to install the virtual machine. So now that we have the windows 11 ISO file prepared, I opened VirtualBox to create the Windows 11 machine. So in VirtualBox here, click on Tools and then click on New. And let's name the machine Windows 11. And keep everything by default and then click on Next. And for the RAM, 
if your host allows it, give it more than four gigabytes. Here I'm gonna keep it on four gigabytes just to show you that this Windows 11 ISO file that we prepared will even work on low RAM. So click on next. And for the virtual hard disk, I'm gonna keep it on 80 gigabytes. Click on create and make sure it is VDI and then click on next and dynamically allocate it, keep it as it is and then click on next and click on create. So here when the machine gets created, make sure it is selected and then click on settings. We need to attach the ISO file to it so that it will start from it. So click on storage and then click on empty. Click on the icon here and then click choose a disk file. And here browse to where you put the Windows 11 ISO file. For me, I put it in this folder. So select it and then click on open. And here, let's see also the system. You see it has four gigabytes of RAM and for processor, it has two virtual CPUs, which is okay for now. This is only to test the machine. So now click on okay. And we need to start the machine. So make sure it is selected once again and then click on start. So the virtual machine will start. While it is starting, we need to click in it and then press any key on your keyboard so that it will start from the ISO file. So now it is starting from the ISO file. And here's Windows 11 setup. And here it will prompt you to choose the language. I'm going to keep it on English. Of course, choose your own language. And then click on next. And here you need to choose the edition of Windows 11 that you have an activation key for. For me, it is Windows 11 Pro. So I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to click on next. And this is a license agreement. I'm going to accept it. And then click next. And I'm going to keep here the default allocation for the drive. So just click on next here. And here's Windows 11 setup underway. And here's the initial phase of the installation finished. So I'm going to click on restart now. So the virtual machine restarts and it will resume the Windows 11 setup automatically. So this is the Windows 11 setups plus screen. And here we'll continue the configuration of Windows 11 setup. So here I'm going to keep it on United States for me. Of course, select your country. And then for the keyboard, it is US for me. Yes, I'm not going to add another keyboard. So click on skip. So now the setup will continue. It will ask you to name your device. I'm going to name it AST VBox. Click next. And here it will ask you to put a name. So who will be using this device? So it is KST for me. Click on next. And here you need to put the password. So I'm going to put the password. Next. Confirm the password. Next. And it will ask you here for security questions. So let's put them very quickly. So here's Windows 11 continuing the setup. And here's Windows 11 installed. We still have one last step, which is installing the guest machine additions so that Windows 11 will integrate fully with VirtualBox. So click here on devices and then click on insert guest addition CD image. So now it is inserted. Let's open Explorer in Windows 11 and you'll see that it is attached here. So click on the CD drive here on the left and then double click on VBOX Windows Additions AMD64. Click yes. And let's install them quickly. So I'm just clicking on the default selections here and click on install and keep reboot now selected and then click on finish. It will reboot once again. And here, give it a minute so that the services will start. And now, if you put it, for instance, full screen like this, it will resize because we installed the VirtualBox virtual machine additions.
So that was it for the installation of Windows 11 as a virtual machine on VirtualBox. Don't forget that the instructions that I showed you can also apply to VMware Workstation Player. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel big time. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.